Here's today's post-meal, post-bolus diabetic walk thought for the day. My name is Bowie. I've had type 1 diabetes for over 20 years. I am healing naturally and sharing information as I go. And this thought stems from the connections between iron dysregulation in the body and the development of diabetes. And it comes down to the ties with energy creation in the body. Both insulin and iron play an incredibly important role in creating energy. Iron is an incredibly reactive molecule. It readily accepts and donates protons, which makes it an excellent catalyst in something like the electron transport chain, which is how the mitochondria turns glucose into ATP. And because iron is such a good catalyst and the mitochondria is responsible for making energy, when you look at how much iron is in the mitochondria, up to 50% of cellular iron is found in the mitochondria. And then consider the fact that insulin from beta cells in the pancreas is responsible for getting glucose into the cell where the mitochondria can use that glucose to use iron to turn it into ATP. And then consider the fact that the liver is incredibly influential in the availability of iron, the storage of iron, the recycling of iron. And while we've always known that the liver and the pancreas have had a relationship, first off, the pancreas makes glucagon, which goes to the liver and releases glycogen to increase our blood sugars. But we now have this new level of the relationship where the liver and the pancreas need to be able to work together because if there's glucose available, the pancreas needs to make insulin. If the pancreas is making insulin, the cell knows that it's going to need iron to use the glucose that the insulin is going to let into the cell. All this to emphasize the fact that liver health is incredibly important in regulating iron metabolism. And it is this dysregulation of iron in our body that is making creating energy so difficult. From both a mitochondrial health standpoint, where if the cell can't make energy, it dies, but also from an inflammation standpoint, where if the mitochondria are backed up or dysfunctional at all, that's causing the cell where that dysfunction is happening to become inflamed and trigger an immune response.